Can you tell me what a caregiver needs to know about the White House Conference on Aging? Yes, thank you, um, Gary. I'm, I'm really happy to have this opportunity. Um, the White House Conference on Aging has happened every decade since 1960. And as we look at the trends and what's happening in 2015, we know that this is a really important time to talk about the issues that older Americans and their caregivers and loved ones face. For the 2015 conference, we have four themes we're focusing on. Retirement security, healthy aging, long-term services and supports, and elder justice. And I think all four of these themes touch the lives of caregivers. Have you heard anything from family caregivers about their concerns? And um, is there any of the programming that you're looking to develop specifically for support of family caregivers? Sure. Um, we've heard a lot from caregivers telling us about the challenges that they've had, uh, either accessing programs or services, um, you know, getting more information. And so as we develop the programming for this, we know that caregiving is an essential part of what we're doing and moving forward, uh, trying to raise up these issues so that people um, get the information that they need. As you know, more and more caregivers are having to do uh, complex medical management when uh, their loved ones are released from a hospital or have had some sort of health episode. Uh, we're finding that people really need more information and, and uh, education and training to help them uh, provide these services to the people they care for. What goals do you look forward to coming out of this year's White House Conference on Aging? What actionable goals? You know, often when I talk about the White House Conference on Aging, I talk about three C's. Uh, uh, conversation, and that's part of what we're doing here today, talking to people, um, helping them, you know, have their voices heard and, and uh, be recognized as part of this. Uh, celebration, so not only celebrating all that older Americans still contribute to our society, um, but also you know, the celebration of many important programs. 2015 marks the 50th anniversary of Medicare, Medicaid, the Older Americans Act, the 80th anniversary of Social Security. We want to um, really highlight how important these programs have been to older Americans and their families and you know, make sure that we strengthen and improve these programs so that they can continue to serve us for another 50 years and more. And finally, change. And as I mentioned, the landscape is changing uh, for uh, our aging society in the U.S. And so we need to you know, think about ways that we can be better prepared and make sure that we can provide the care that people need. We want to have some action items about not only what the federal government can do, um, but what, and, and not just state and local governments, but as you said, community, individuals, faith-based communities, um, all of those uh, really important uh, people and organizations that help us uh, throughout the country to come up with solutions, because we're all in this together. What would be the one most important piece of advice you'd like to leave family caregivers with? You know, my advice would be don't forget to take care of yourself. Um, as a person from a large family and uh, a mother and a daughter as well, I think oftentimes uh, people who are caregivers are always taking care of other people and they don't think about what they need to do to help keep themselves healthy, to have a secure retirement for themselves. Uh, to you know, make sure that they get some time away to um, have their spirit be lifted. It's really important to the people that you care for that you care for yourself as well. And how do people get more information about the White House Conference on Aging? So there are a couple of ways. We have, um, we have a website. It's www.whitehouseconferenceonaging.gov. Uh, people can sign up there to receive uh, regular updates uh, about what activities we're doing, uh, as I mentioned, webinars, events such as these here in Tampa, uh, giving us suggestions and ways to move forward. Uh, we also are on Twitter. It's at whaging.gov. And uh, so we encourage folks to follow us, to send us their information, to be part of that uh, experience. And uh, really to be active in their communities and raising these issues. What we really want is to, and I think each White House Conference on Aging has been able to do that, is shine a spotlight on these issues so that people who may, and especially sometimes our caregivers who 
um, you know, they're so busy taking care of people that they don't have an opportunity to um, let their voices be heard. We're trying to offer as many opportunities as we can. Thank you so much. Thank you.